If these impersonal expressions do not start off as a fact, something like es verdad que o es cierto que, you're always going to use the subjunctive. Today, we're going to show you how you can start using the subjunctive to improve your Spanish. That's right. So this will be the first video in a series where we'll be teaching when to use the subjunctive. But here, we're going to start with the easiest. Now, if you don't know how to conjugate the subjunctive, check out this video here or in the description below. So let's get into it. Okay, so in Spanish, there are three moods. There's the imperative, which is how to give commands in Spanish. So we won't worry about that one. Now, the indicative is when you talk about facts or when you're certain of something. And the subjunctive is when you have doubts or opinions. It's, it's when you're, it's not a fact, you're unsure of something. So let's see the difference between the indicative and the subjunctive. So the indicative would be Sé que estás feliz. So I know that you're happy. That's a fact. And the subjunctive would be Espero que estés feliz. I hope that you're happy. I hope that that's true, but it might not be. And many Spanish students have a lot of trouble with this because it's just not as common in English and there are a lot more conjugations. But today, we're going to show you the easiest way to start using them and that's with the impersonal expressions. Now, if you don't know what that means... Well, ex impersonal expressions express opinions or feelings about other people or events, and that's why they're usually followed by the subjunctive. Now, many impersonal expressions are formed by using the third person singular of ser plus an adjective plus que, like these here. Es bueno que. Es necesario. Que. Es probable que. Es importante que. Es recomendable que. Now, just a side note, you can have impersonal expressions based on facts, and when this is the case, you'll use the indicative, but otherwise, you'll always use the subjunctive. So, to show you this and demonstrate it, let's see these two examples here. Es cierto que son novios. No es cierto que sean novios. Notice how one is sure and one is not. Exactly. Or, es verdad que tiene un carro nuevo. But, no es verdad que tengo un carro nuevo. One is sure, one's a fact, and one is not. So, remember, if these impersonal expressions do not start off as a fact, something like, es verdad que, o es cierto que, you're always going to use the subjunctive. So, let's see some examples. Es importante que tenga una buena actitud. Es importante que coma saludable. Es recomendable que llegues temprano a la cita. Es recomendable que aprenda otro idioma. Es bueno que sea amable. Es bueno que hayas terminado la universidad. Es probable que esté en su oficina. Es probable que me des un regalo para Navidad. Es necesario que ellos digan la verdad. Es necesario que me creas. And that's all there is to it. For me, these impersonal expressions are definitely the easiest subjunctive trigger to start using in your daily conversations. Now, watch this video to improve your Spanish. Until, Until next time. time.